Okay, detecting and computing emotion. Most people find it difficult to detect deceiving emotions. Even trained professionals like police officers, psychiatrists, judges, and polygraphists detected deceiving emotions only 54% of the time. Um, it was found that facial muscles can, can, can reveal most of our concealed emotions. However, um, when we're faking emotion, they tend to last longer than, well, they tend to last around four to five seconds, and our natural emotions tend to fade around four to five seconds. So that's not really a good enough indicator because nobody is just sitting in front of somebody just timing how long the facial expressions last. Um, however, there are also other cues associated with lies such as long pauses, fast talking, and hesitations that can also um, help somebody um, differentiate between lying and telling the truth. However, as it says on the slide, when they conducted a study using trained professionals to detect liars, they only got it right about half the time. Even in a study where they used uh, the FBI and the CIA, the people who would interrogate criminals, I think the best group got about 70%, right? So nobody can truly detect emotion, or uh, sorry, detect lying. Um, a good example of conveying emotion is Hindu dance. In a classical Hindu dance, the body is trained to effectively convey 10 different emotions. So, you know, emotion can be conveyed through body language, through facial muscles especially.